Welcome back to Fan Nation, presented by J.P. Roofing. Growing up in Pittsburgh, if you wanted to go downtown, you had to hop on the T. Yeah, for over 100 years, Pittsburgh's trolleys have served as a practical and central means of transportation throughout the city. But if you were around in the 80s, you may remember a trolley car that was more than just a ride downtown. So Fan Nation took it upon ourselves to help track down this hometown history. If you look at it, it looks like a football helmet. It has the four Super Bowls, and it has players' numbers along each side of the car. It really celebrates the four Super Bowls the Steelers had won. In the 1970s, the city, the region went through very hard times. The steel mills, a lot of them closed, a lot of people lost their jobs. And the Steelers had been a terrible team up until the 70s, and all of a sudden they started winning championships. And it really raised people's hopes, and it gave them something to cheer for. So I think that this trolley signifies that hope that people had. We have a large archive and we have a lot of old Port Authority records and we found the original letter from Kim Sever, a nine-year-old, to Mayor Calagiri in January 1980 suggesting to the mayor that they have a trolley painted, the terrible trolley, to honor the Steelers. I was nine years old when I wrote the letter. My grandmother, who I lived with at the time, was really into letter writing. And so I brought this idea of the terrible trolley to her, and she said, well, write a letter to the mayor about it. Maybe they'll do it. So the letter that I wrote said, Mr. City Promoter, my name is Kim Seaver. I am nine years old, and I had this idea that maybe the city could have a trolley painted black and gold that says the terrible trolley. If the city doesn't have the money for a new trolley, you could just paint one of the old trolleys black and gold, OK? Sincerely, Kim Seaver. <laughs> Shortly after receiving Kim's letter, Mayor Caligiuri wrote back saying he would forward her idea to the Port Authority. Seven days later, the Port Authority filed a document greenlighting the terrible trolley. It dawned on us, you know, the terrible trolley still exists. It's sitting out in this barn in Ohio. So I said, you know, we should talk to the guy and see if he still wants it or maybe we should acquire it. So this is the first time it's seen the light of day since uh, 1998. So our plan is to restore it to operational status. We'll operate exactly the same as, as 1713, the terrible trolley. We got permission from the Steelers. We're going to accurately repaint it to 1980. So it will have four Super Bowls, not six on it. We're connecting people through history. And it's going to tap into a lot of emotions of people. I think it's great that they're preserving the trolley. I think it's important from both the perspective of that it's part of Steelers history and that incredible period of Steelers history in the 70s and 80s. And it's also important because there aren't so many trolleys in Pittsburgh anymore, so it's preserving the history of the city. This trolley is not just a trolley. You know, it really represents, in some ways, the, the hopes and dreams of the city moving forward and becoming the city of champions. I love the idea that, you know, I'm provably, verifiably responsible for the existence of the terrible trolley. It's, uh, it makes me happy.